Hey guys, it's Ollie here and welcome to episode number two of the Forest Green Rovers career mode. Before I start here, I wanted to just give an almighty thank you for everyone who watched episode one. By the time of um of commentating on Tuesday morning, commentating on episode two, it, that video has over 500 views and 26 likes. I think it's absolutely ridiculous I mean I was on my um work break last night it was, it was really really busy and I thought let's have a quick squiz at how my video is doing it had about 200 views and about 12 likes I was like wow that's no I have about 15 I think actually but um yeah that, that was absolutely amazing um I don't know what else, what else I can say other than thank you very very much and woke up this morning I had about 500 views and I've hit 150 subs as well would had 128 before I started <laughs> like this just the support is absolutely ridiculous so thank you so so much guys anyway um i was talking for a minute over this um negotiations for um the right back dion kelly evans situated um youngster from uh, um also fellow league two outfit coventry city so that'll be an interesting one if we can um get him we offered um reese murphy our striker um, in the deal, but they didn't want a midfielder, so we um, offer them Liam Noble, but they wanted 128 grand. We go and offer them 100 grand. So I think that's under his um, valuation actually that makes the um, total 320 grand. So I think we, we've um, done all right there. Look, that's a better offer. We can agree on that. Let's stay in touch. Bye for now. Um, so yeah, there we go. Maybe um, purchasing ourselves a right back and always remember to um, adjust your sliders before you go into a um, transfer negotiation if any of you have the um, edition that comes out today. Because I unfortunately don't, I just ordered the standard edition. So I was being a bit of a peasant, even though, even though I've got like money in reserves, I, I, I just don't spend it. I, I literally hoard, hoard cash man, it, it, it's absolutely ridiculous but anyway. In the boardroom, just remember, because obviously you can't just back out, you can't really stall the talks. You either have to offer them everything you got, or nothing at all, so we offer them a um, two year deal here, important first team player, um, for Kelly Evans, yeah, he's happy with the length of contract, two years, it's, it's, it's okay, as I said last episode, it's not ideal, but um, one year I wouldn't do, cause you'd end up having to um, renegotiate with them at the end of the season or um, even earlier in fact and we'd go to a new contract having just signed him. Um, now that's done I want to discuss his salary we're going to offer him 1.5 and a little sign on bonus because he's, he's a younger player he's not going to demand low he's not from a high um highly prestigious club in in this game see he wants he, he he's happy to cut his wage but just wants a bit of bumped up signing and bonus so we say after 25 clean sheets we're going to give him 40,000 I mean I went back on what I said because I didn't think we'd get um, 25 clean sheets at least this year maybe not next year depend I mean I don't know how we're going to do like we haven't played any games with this team yet so you know, remember I um, at this point I had no idea obviously I haven't commented I've played quite a lot of games with the team um, not to give anything away but at that point, I, I, I just didn't know. Like, we could have finished on, almost bottom of the league. <laughs> but for I knew, I, I could have just been awful at the game. I mean, I, I was okay at the demo. But um, I, I could have just been god awful at um, career mode and, and have teams just play around you. Like, one thing I will say this year is the gameplay is so much more realistic. I'm absolutely used to almost, almost all my early access on career mode. I've only played about two hours of Ultimate Team, really. Um, Let's go and look for another um, central midfielder to play in our um, 4 3 3 1. Um, as more um, defensive options, obviously. Um, we got um, Drissa Troyore and uh, Lee Collins, but I see Lee Collins more with centre half, to be fair. I think that, that's what he was on FIFA last year. I think, I think he was at Mansfield last year, and um, he's a centre back, so I'll see him more as that. But anyway, get a few scout reports there. That's who you want to go for, Usman Fane. You want to go for, but before that, we're gonna have a look at our scouts who just ah! 
name is Sean Cox. He's English, but I always rate as a good start. I don't, I don't always like having um, Nuno Santos as my Spanish um, playmaker centre mid. Um, yeah, Sean Cox. He's an attacker type left wing. We, I mean, we do need another um, winger to be fair. So I feel like Sean Cox definitely um, one of the better ones we could have pulled. Not a lot from um, Scotland, and we get a good goalkeeper in Taylor Edwards. That's what we're looking for because um, Kinyos is only going to be a um, short-term um, stopgap kind of player. So we're gonna have a look at our squad now. We've got Shadipo there, Cox. Um, it's got poor um, skill moves, skill moves and weak footers. So that's an issue. I'm, I'm probably gonna play him um, from the right-hand side if I can and try and just get him to um, to cut inside on his third left foot because obviously he doesn't have a right foot. I feel like um, he's very, very with these very one footed players you need to have them um, cutting in because obviously you're not always going to be able to go down the line and then I feel like in, in this game in this game anyway or in previous FIFA I feel like I'm um, cutting inside has bared a bit more fruit than going around the outside because he's not that, that quick at the moment so if he can just um Show you some clo um, close control on the ball, we'll do a bit of dribbling, and we'll be fine. So we're going to go and negotiate for this, um, this guy, Usman Fane. We're not going to speed this up at all, because something very interesting happens here, and I think it's a glitch. We're going for Usman Fane, because um, initially I had an um, FM save um, for a screen last year, and I um, did sign you, and, and he was a very good servant to the club. Um, was, was with the team up, up to I got to the championship, and then I got fired. <laughs> um, anyway, so we think who we're gonna swap? Well, for Reese Murphy for some for some reason, I feel like he's worth way more than um, Farne is worth. But um, watch this. Well, just watch this. We um, offer the um, player exchange, but they want a centre back. Now, I want this player, a tall, strong, ninety-four stamina as well, um, Farne. But they want a centre back in return to him. So we have a look at our centre backs and see who we think Oldham are going to want. Um, we have Constant, we just signed. Monthe, they're not going to want probably. And two other lone centre halves. Ia Cavetti is our first team centre, first team centre half. And uh, Jack Fitzwater is on the West Brom. We see what happens if we offer him. We just see what happens. Um, we may have found a glitch in the game. Look, we, we consider swapping Jack Fitzwater. That is ridiculous. He's on loan to us. That should not be able to happen. Absolutely unreal scenes. That's all I can say. <laughs> Honestly, that's all. It's all I can say. Like that stuff should not be allowed to happen. Really, it's a glitch in the game. I don't know if anyone from EA is going to watch this. 99.9% sure they won't. But anyway, I'm gonna um, have to go and trial this actually um, on different saves. Even when I get the full game, I might um, buy an early access um, for another account because I really want to trial this out. Because if, if this works in more than just th this instance, then this, this is a, a big flaw in the transfer market. I don't know if anyone else has found this out yet. Um, fair enough if they have, and I'm just being a bit um, behind the times. I mean, I might sound a bit stupid here, but man, <laughs> it's ridiculous. I mean, I'm not complaining. Um, yeah, that's weird, because um, fan is on the right hand side, and he looks smaller than the agent, but he's six foot four. Unless the agent's fucking six foot six. That doesn't really work out for me. Um, you're often a crucial first team player. Um, again, this is a guy who's not really. Um, I don't. I don't even know his, know his potential. I don't think it's um. It's actually that high, but he's a good player in game. Strong, physical, athletic player, and um, more of a sentimental value after, after signing him. Signing him for um. Thirty thousand pounds. Mold by Flesic after he fell out with the manager. Um, and bringing him to our conference side, I think it was one of the best bits of business I had, I had um, done. So look, we have nothing left. 
We offer all we can. Uh, I don't know how much wages he's um. We offer him a sign-on pony of sixteen quid. I mean, fuck's sake. But yeah, he, he's he's happy with the one point six. Um. So we've obviously signed our player there and left ourselves nothing. And I mean, absolutely nothing. I mean, gone on the days where you could um. I think FIFA, FIFA 16, when you could um, request funds, this is the time where I would want to request funds. Luckily we didn't have, um, Fast Cream, we have no financial objectives in our um, seasonally manager objectives. Um, obviously in real life they are um, bankrolled, but their start, their start of team doesn't really show that. I mean, they've really made a few, um, in real life they made a couple loan sign-ins, um, Few kind of marquee signings, signing players like um, Reese Brown, Luke James up front, and um, Scott Laird left back. They're three um, real good signings. So obviously, we've um, had to strengthen ourselves quite a few positions. Um, concert centre half, and I've sent mid and um, in Farne, in position, um, goalkeeper. Another one we've had to be strengthened and right back as well. So, and left midfielder, not forgetting Ola Munisha Depot. Anyway, we're going to go into our first game of the season. I'll have a quick flick through our squad. And I can't wait to play some FIFA 18 career mode. It's the first actual game I would have played in the mode. We um, saw our squad out beforehand. So here we are, our first game in career mode of the year and Fast Green Rovers FC, the first ever game in the Skybet League 2, known as the EFL League 2 on FIFA, because they obviously don't um they don't have the license for it, which is obviously understandable. Um if they had license for it everywhere they would um it would cost them millions and millions of pounds. I don't think they, they want to splash out, they can't even get themselves some decent um online servers. But anyway. This year, talking about what um, where I want to be, like um, I feel like playoffs is a minimum aim, preferably get promoted. Um, just to let you know. So um, start this game in inside five minutes with um, Marsh Brown on the ball, finding Reese Brown, our main um, attacking midfielder. Luke James holding up really well against Michael Nelson. We start again with Farne, James into Brown. Back in chains, and what a touch that is! Take away from the defender and make it 1 0 to far screen. The first ever goal in the football league, and it's scored by Luke James. Hopefully, a first of many for the guy, but great touch. Runs onto it, and an absolutely excellent finish. But. Kindly challenge. The shot's on! Hit the post! With a chance, but it is an equaliser. And third time lucky for Barnett, as of course they make it 1 0. Oh man, man, I was, um, I was riding my luck for a lot of that to be fair, but you know, what can you do? <laughs> as Barnett come at us again, and um, we, we kind of deal with it, but we just get too lax in possession, lose the ball, and Colt Hurst just puts it in the near post to make it 2 1 to Barnett. Absolute fucking joke. Absolute fucking joke. We I thought I had the ball cleared, but um they do press you a little bit more and um in this year's game, um the, the AI that like they don't give you a lot of time to play at the back like like they used to, they are on you. So trying to win the ball back here at the end of the half. Tackles are flying in. Trying to get the ball over, trying to get it back before the half, but it's not going to happen. The referee blows for half time, at, and the score is four screen Rovers one, Barnet two. So unfortunately for us, um, we go into the second half, goal down, and right now we look like going to be a star player down. As you see, um, Keanu Marsh Brown down there in the corner. Rolling around, he's not getting up anytime soon. He's trying to make a chance out of it, but um, the fourth save never really comes it. But there we go, Marsh Brown's down. And I can tell you, um, spoiler alert for a couple of minutes' time, it's not a good injury. So, um, come off the hour, come off the man, Sean Cop is going to come on for his four screen debut. The little promising motherfucker is going to come on the pitch. We're going to bring on um, Reese Murphy as well, and also Drissa Triore. 
So I see his head, so I'm closing the ball down, trying really hard to win it. And I've still looked at Fletcher when you get it. It's um Reese Brown pinged it over. And Sean Cox, look at that for a cutback header, and it's Luke James to make it 2 2. I mean, James with the goal, but a lot of credit has to go A to um Scott Laird, Lee, Lee Collins win the ball back. But look at that ping over. And and the header, the accuracy of the header to take take it away from um Santos, the um tall Portuguese centre half of Barnet. I mean, the power that took, that's really amazing. I was trying to hurt something here, but nothing really comes of it. And knowing how I already cannot defend on FIFA 18, Barnett are going to make it 3-2. Lovely. Absolutely unreal stuff. But we've just got to go again, haven't we, and try and um, get ourselves a point as I'm Sean Cox on the ball. I'm trying to give the try away, nothing happens of it. But, um... Win the ball as um, Barnett are not really defending their leaders. I feel like they feel like they um, they they should be, but um, we get the advantage. Try away on the ball, the um, small but um, mobile defensive midfielder. Come out wide to Shadipo. Sean Cox on the ball puts it in, and the same combination. Sean Cox assists. Luke James gets his hat trick. It's three three. As you see, this is absolutely brilliant from Sean Cox. Puts it in, and he. I don't know how he beats the centre after the header there, but he just does. But we go all out attack. We think, you know what, let's fucking. You know what, let's go for it. You know, may as well. You know, um, on, on the balance of things. I'm always uh, um. I stay balanced. If you got one and a half points for a draw, I stay balanced. But the fact it's two extra points. You, you're um, risking one to win two. I think that that's always my kind of mentality. I, I, I'll always go for the win if I'm drawing. Um, but, you know, 3-3 three, three it ends. And it's a satisfactory result. It's, it's my first game playing career. I mean, I played a bit of demo. But, um, yeah, I feel that's a satisfactory result at least. And, um... um Positive to take out of it, all some negatives. Um, Marsh Brown getting injured, of course, not I um something we wanted as we were quite short in that position as it is for seven fucking months. That's when I wish I accepted the um 500k offer because you're going to be out for almost the whole season. Wait, let me count this. September. About March. Yeah, about about March, maybe a little bit earlier if we're lucky. I might get him back end of February, in time for my birthday. Um, anyway, that's gonna be it for um, episode two. We're gonna sim this um, Carabao Cup game. So I'm not gonna play these, those games. I'm trying to speed up a little bit. But that's it. Thanks again for supporting episode one. If we can um, not spend this much on episode two, it never is. But if we could get um, some, um, some good likes, comments, keep the support going. I'll be absolutely um, overwhelmed with it. Thank you so much for watching and have a brilliant day, guys. See you later.